All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who grew well and taught me this truth. And Shalom to all the birds out there through the four corners of the earth pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. But the Gazaba from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina, come back with you another quick lesson. This spirit power, Yahweh, Bahashim, Shai, just another installment of uh, Hebrew Israelite 101. Okay? You know, and this lesson is going to be uh, based on that we only serve one power, okay? One God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, all right? His only begotten Son, who is the mediator to Him, okay? You know, our mediator, all right? His name is Yahweh Shai, okay? All right? Yahweh Shai, all right? You know, so, uh, you know, just quickly, you know, getting this, uh, uh, Get into this lesson, you know, going straight into the scriptures. Or right, we only serve one power, man. Okay, and that's the heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. Okay, all right. So, um, first scripture I want to get is a uh, second. Uh, Slaki. This is a uh, Exodus chapter twenty, verse one. And the Most High spake all these words, saying, "I am Yahweh, thy power." All right, so our power, our God, okay, is Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, okay, the creator of all things, all right, the most high, as you know, some brothers say, okay, you know, all right, he is the, the highest of all, the supreme being, okay, it says, I am Yahweh, thy, thy power, thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, kind, you know, so Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, the Heavenly Father Yahweh brought the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, out of the land of Egypt. Okay, you know, so that was the power. Okay, that was the God that led us out of that land. Okay, it says, it says, uh, out of the house of bondage, kind, because we was in slavery. You know, in in the land of Egypt, man, under the Egyptians. You know, which in Hebrew is um 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 Miz Mizraim. Okay, all right. You know, the uh, 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 Egyptians, okay, you know, okay, those those are the people that we were under in that land, okay? It says, thou shalt have no other gods before me, okay? All right, so that is a commandment, all right? We only serve one God, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, okay? All right, you know, so we, we, we serve the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, all right? That's how you... You know, uh, uh, serve Yahweh by Shemuel Shai by serving really his son. Okay. You know, you serve and, and you praise Yahweh Shai by default. You're giving all praises and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. All right. Because the Heavenly Father Yahweh gave all the power to Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. All right. So we only serve one power is <laughs> the Heavenly Father Yahweh through his only begotten son Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says, Exodus 20 and 4, it says, Thou shalt not make unto slaki it says thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth kind okay <laughs> all right these are the things that we're not supposed to we're not supposed to make idols okay we don't serve as a hebrew is like we serve one power we don't serve many gods okay all right, we do not, uh, you know, serve, you know, Yahweh Bashim Shai than Buddha than Allah. No, you know, or, or Santa Maria or, or, you know, the the other angels and things under the sea. No, we serve Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, you know, one power. All right, the supreme being through the only begotten Son, who was all the power was given unto. Okay, you know, it says, verse five. It says, Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. All right. So we're not supposed to bow ourselves down to them, giving them no reverence. All right. And not serving them, man. Okay. All right. Not, you know, doing uh, according to the doctrine that is falls under them. Okay. You know, not following so-called that idol's ways with that idol, really, which is a demon. Okay. You know, uh, what, what it says to do? Well, we're supposed to follow the ways after Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. All right, when you're bowing down to something, you're you're in servitude to it. You're under the subjection, under the rule of. Okay, all right, and we're not supposed to be. We're supposed to be under the subjection and rule of Yahweh Bashim Shai. It says, it says, nor serve them the kind. All right, and we're serving Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, who the world and who calls God in Jesus Christ. Okay, it says. 
for I am Yahweh. So it's like it for I Yahweh thy power am a jealous power or a jealous God. Okay, you know. So the heavenly Father is a jealous God. You know, and you know you got no difference between jealousy and envy. Okay, jealousy. When you look at the word jealousy, is mad that somebody took something that is yours. Okay. You know, when you envy something, you're mad that somebody has something that is not yours. So the Heavenly Father is mad at our people, two thirds of our people, all right, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because they're, you know, with these other gods when they're really supposed to be, you know, unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, because we are his people, okay? All right, so we are his possession, okay? You know, as a, as a uh, you know, has how Israel's, uh, you know, compared to a, a beautiful. You know, comely woman, okay? We're the Lord's possession, just like a woman is a possession of a man, okay? Now, we're the possession of Yahweh by Shema Shai. So he's jealous, because it's like when you serve another God, you're sleeping <laughs> with another with another person, <laughs> you know? You know, if, you know, given that analogy, you know? So the Heavenly Father is jealous, all right? You know, the scriptures all say jealousy is the rage of a man, okay? All right? You know, so, you know, just showing you, Yahweh by Shema Shai doesn't take you serving another God very lightly, okay? It says, I read it again. It says, and go back to it. This is Exodus 20 and 5. It says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to, to them nor serve them, for I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Kind. You know? Which that you know, and that scripture that proves reincarnation, but that's for another, uh, uh, you know, topic, another lesson. You know, but still, Yahweh Hashem Shai does not take that lightly at all. All right, He's going to destroy those. Okay, you know, because remember, it's iniquity, which iniquity is sin. All right, which sin is transgression of the laws, statutes, commandments of the Bible. All right, it's in law, statute, and commandment that we only serve. Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. All right, and that they, we should have no other gods before us, man. But Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Alright, it says uh it says, Yeah, visit the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So the Lord is gonna uh, recompense those who serve other gods, man. Alright, you're gonna have a harsh judgment from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. Alright, but ultimately that penalty is death, man, serving other gods. Okay. This is uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 5, and it reads, I am Yahweh, and there is no other kind, all right? So the Heavenly Father is the only power, the, you know, He is the supreme being, okay? You know, there is nobody beside Him, all right? You know, you don't have Allah, you know, you don't have Buddha, you don't have the Santa Maria, uh, Haile Selassie, or any other uh, God before Him. Uh, having a council with the Lord saying, oh, we should do this or don't do that. The Heavenly Father makes decisions, man. He is the 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 uh, head honcho, you know, for, you know, as, you know, people say in this world. You know, it says, it says, I am, I am Yahweh and there is no other. Besides me, there, there is no power. I will, says it, it's like it, besides me, there is no power. I will girt you. Though you have not known me, kind. And the point I wanted to get was there's no one beside Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You know, the Heavenly Father, all right, Yahweh makes the decisions, man, okay, you know? And ultimately, you know, the Heavenly Father gave, you know, all the power, all the decision making to our Lord Yahweh Shai, which Lord Yahweh Shai is doing the bidding, the, the, uh, the, uh, the will. Of the Father, man. All right, and the scriptures talk about that. Matter of fact, Lord's will. I'm about to get it right now. How Lord Yahweh Shai said it himself. All right, you know that he does the will of the Heavenly Father. So ultimately, the Heavenly Father is in control of all things, man. Okay. All right. Let's see. Of my Father, KJV. Let's see. Get that. All right, Matthew, live. Okay, this is a uh, okay scripture. This is okay. Yep, yeah, this is a uh, John Saint John chapter six, verse thirty. 
It's lucky. Yep. Uh, this is a uh, yep. This is First John Slaki, Saint John chapter six verse thirty eight. It says, "For I came down from heaven, and this is Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who wore it and called Jesus Christ." It says, "For I came down from heaven not to do my own will." All right. So <laughs> Lord Yahweh Shai established right there that he doesn't. He's not coming down to do what he wants to do. Okay, what what he sees fit. All right. So he nipped that in the bud. He says, but the will of him that sent me, it says, and this is the father's will, which have sent me. So the father, heavenly father, Yahweh, all right, sent Lord Yahweh Shai and Lord Yahweh Shai did the bidding of the heavenly father. OK. All right. In servitude to the heavenly father. So, you know, and that he is in second command under all things, man. All right. So how much more us? You know, so as a Hebrew Israelite, we serve one power, okay? The heavenly father, the Yahweh, through the only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, so it proves that ultimately we're doing the will of the heavenly father, man, okay? All right, we give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, it says, uh, verse 39, it says, I'm reading it again, it says, and this is the father's will that have sent me. And that of all which he have given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. Okay. So ultimately, the point I want to get is that, you know, Lord Yahweh Shai, he does exactly what the father, you know, uh, you know, wants, man. All right. So we give praise to you, all praise and glory to Yahweh Shimei Shai. We serve and praise Yahweh, Yahweh Shai in, by default. We're, we're praising the Heavenly Father because Yahweh Shai is doing exactly what the Heavenly Father wants him to do, man. Okay? <laughs> you know? But um, let's see. Go back to, I believe I got one more scripture or two more. Okay? Um, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. It says, For Yahweh, your power is a consuming fire, a jealous God or jealous power. Okay? All right, so the Heavenly Father is a consuming fire, man. All right, that's why we can't, you know, just talk straight to Heavenly Father, man, because he'll consume you, man, you know? <laughs> but he's a jealous power showing you that he doesn't want you to serve anyone but him, okay? All right, all right, and the last scripture I'm going to get is the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 2. A jealous and avenging power is Yahweh. So, hey, man, the Heavenly Father is jealous, all right? And he, he avenges, man, <laughs> Hey, the Lord is a vengeful, uh, fierce God, man, that you don't want to play with, man. Okay? So we ought to praise and give all glory and honor to him. All right? Through the only begotten son, Lord Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, Yahweh is avenging and wrathful. Yahweh takes vengeance on his adversaries, and, re and he reserves wrath for his enemies. Kind. And ultimately, if you serve another God, you're your enemy unto Yahweh Shai. You know? Yeah, <laughs> you know, you, you, you're you not down with him, man. OK, and if you don't want to get down with the program, you know, just like Lord Yahweh Shai said, man, hey, man, if he doesn't want to be ruled over, you know, he doesn't want to, you know, serve you the heavenly father that only begotten son, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Bring him hither and slay him before me, man. OK, you know, so, hey, man, you, we ought to give all praises. And glory to the Heavenly Father is only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, that is our only power that we serve. Okay, so hope this lesson was edifying, you know, to the elected nation of Israel. We serve one power, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. So, with that, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And shalom to all the brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, shalom.